In a world buzzing with information, have you ever paused to wonder why some stories stick in your mind and others don't? This is because of susceptibility, our invisible yet powerful tendency to accept and spread information whether they are reliable or not. So what exactly is susceptibility in the digital world? Imagine your mind as a doorway to your beliefs and susceptibility is how wide open is that door to the endless stream of information online. In our study, susceptibility is a measure of how likely we are to adopt and interact with an information source that we come across on social media. It is framed as a probability, focusing on the dynamics between exposure to information and the likelihood of its adoption. Using two comprehensive data sets covering politics and public health discussions from Twitter, our group of researchers have uncovered some key patterns about how our online interactions shape what we see and share. We focus on three research questions. How does exposure affect our adoption of information? Does the credibility of the source matter? And do our previous exposures influence what we choose to adopt later? It turns out, the more we're exposed to an information source, the more likely we are to adopt it. Repeated exposure significantly increases our susceptibility to a source of information. Moreover, individuals are quicker to adopt information from low credibility sources than from high credibility ones. This reveals a greater vulnerability to misinformation. Interestingly, we also find that sources of both extremes of credibility, very low and very high, are adopted more rapidly than those of moderate credibility. This pattern highlights a polarized response. Some users easily fall prey to fringe beliefs, while some others highly value accuracy and reliability. Last but not least, we also discovered that the credibility of sources a person is frequently exposed to tends to match the credibility of sources they later adopt. In simple terms, the more we see it, the more we interact with it and potentially believe it. And if we are used to not questioning the source, we're even more at risk. Why does it matter? In the digital age, the line between fact and fiction blurs easily, shaping our beliefs, decisions, and even our society at large. Our research suggests actionable steps for countering misinformation effectively. For individuals, it's about adopting a healthy skepticism, verifying sources, and pulsing before sharing. For platforms and policymakers, the call is to refine algorithms, shadow ban unreliable content, highlight credible information, and enhance transparency around source credibility. Together, these steps can forge a digital realm where truth prevails, fostering a well-informed online community. Thank you very much.